Does anyone know what day it is? It is Monday. Today is Monday. What day is today? Monday. Yes, Monday. Monday. Yes, awesome. And today we will be respectful. 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 Yes, awesome, Calhoun. We will be courageous. We will be courageous. Awesome. We will be safe. Boy, we will be Boy. safe. Yeah. And we oh, will man. be kind. And we will be kind. Awesome Go over unit seven, lesson one and two. Okay. Today we will Awesome. All right. So the first thing I have for us is a little video. Um, we're going to be practicing using the verb to be in the past tense, talking about what happened in the past, okay? What happened in the past? <laughs> A doctor but now I am a teacher if we want to say that in the past his job was being a doctor are we gonna put was here or were here I'm We, we use was. You'll see it in 10 seconds. I was a doctor, but now I am a teacher. I was a doctor, but now I am a teacher. They're blank. Many people at the party. Hmm, are we going to use was or were? Were. Nice job, Calum. Yes, let's see the answer in six seconds. Yes, there were many people at the party. Way to go, Calum. Dog blank so tired because he played in the park all day. Are we going to use was or were? Hmm. The dog was so tired or the dog were so tired? Whoa. All right, Calhoun, let's see if it is word. Yay! 
Okay, so Cajon, it's okay. I said yay because you tried your best, okay? The dog was so tired because he played in the park all day. So there's only one dog, so we're gonna use was. <laughs> my birthday yesterday. What do you think? Is it gonna be was or were? Uh. I hear word. Work. Work. It was my birthday yesterday, but nice try. There's only one of us, right? There's only, it's my birthday. So if we're just talking about one person, it was. They blank in my pocket yesterday. Hmm. What do you think? Talking about more than one, are we gonna use were or was? Let's see, let's see. You're stumped. Let's see what it says. They were. I lost my keys. They were in my pocket yesterday. Grandma Blink, happy to see us. What do you think, was or were? Stumped again, let's go through it. Seven seconds. Granddad and grandma were happy to see us because there's two of them. They were happy to see us. Blank, beautiful yesterday. What do you think? The weather was or the weather were? Well. All right, Cam, let's see. I appreciate you trying, girly. yesterday because there's only one thing that we're talking about. The weather was beautiful, but good job, Cam. Awesome. I blank hungry, but then I ate a huge hamburger. We're talking about one person, just I. So is it was or were? I was hungry or I were hungry? All right, Cam, let's see. Ooh, I was hungry.
hungry, but then I ate a huge hamburger. Awesome job, friends. Okie dokie. So let me see. Now we are going to go into our book. We're gonna go into our book and we're going to go over lesson one and lesson two in unit seven. Just check one thing. Awesome. So we are just starting this unit. I'm so excited. We are learning about different places, different places. Let's watch our vocabulary video. Before we start, I want you to go ahead and get your Unit seven worksheets out. Unit seven worksheets, go ahead and pull them out so you have them ready to go. I have my name on the top and I'm ready to go. I see Cam is pulling hers out. Very nice, thank you. Playground. Playground. Skating rink. Skating rink. Gym. Gym. Airport. Airport. Amusement park. Amusement park. Post office. Post office. Train station. Train station. Awesome. I'm gonna play it again and I wanna hear you repeat the words. Bus stop. Playground. Playground. Skating rink. Gym. Airport. Airport. Amusement park. Post office. Train station. All right, one more time, and I want to hear you repeat the words, okay? Bus stop. Playground. Playground. Skating rink. Gym. Airport. Airport. Amusement park. Amusement park. Post office. Post office. Train station. Train station. Awesome. Okay, let's write those vocabulary words down. Okay, so in your notebook or actually on your packet, on the bottom we have numbers one through eight. Yes, we're going to write our vocab words down on the bottom of our packet. แม่ค่ะคําศัพท์เราเรียนสามารถจดลงไปในเวิร์คชีตได้เลยนะตรงด้านล่างพื้นที่ว่างๆอย่างเงี้ยค่ะค่ะเพจ 
They're all different places. Where is this place? What is this place called? What do we call this place? Something stops here to pick you up. Bus stop. What is this place? Bus stop. This place is the... Bus stop. Nice job, Oi. Thank you for putting it in the chat. I'll take it. Bus stop. Very good. Go ahead and write bus stop on number one. Number one, bus stop. B U S space S T O P. All right, let's see, what's their next one? What is this place? You can put it in the chat or you can say it out loud. Playground. What is this place? Very good, Cam, it is the playground. All right, so on number two, we're going to write playground. Let me go ahead and give all your point and Cam a point. Thank you for participating. P L A Y G R O U N D, playground. It is one word, it's where you go to play. All right, number three. Anyone remember number three? Does anyone remember number three? Hey. You're so close, Cam. Skating rink. Skating rink. Skating rink. Skating rink. So we're gonna put that on number three. Skating rink. S-K-A-T-I-N-G space R-I-N-K. We have a basketball court. We have a football field and we have a skating rink it's the place where you skate awesome all right what about this place what's this one called you go here to work out yeah exercise yes cam awesome gym the gym so you're going to put gym on number four g y m Gym, where you go to work out. Where you go to work out, nice work. All right, where is this place? What do we call this place? Airport. Yes, Cam. Airport. The airport, awesome job, Cam. Very proud of you. So you're gonna put airport on number five. A-I-R-P-O-R-T, airport, airport. Very good, all one word. Ooh, what about this one? This is a long word. It's some kind of park. Anyone remember what kind of park it is? Um a new to 
Yeah. Amusement park. Amusement park. You got it, girlfriend. Yes. So we're going to put amusement park on number six. A M U S E M E N T space P A R K. Amusement park. Amusement park. It's where you can go to ride really fun roller coasters and Ferris wheels and maybe get some yummy carnival food. It's really fun. I love amusement parks. They're one of my favorite places to go. I love amusement parks. Okay. What about this place? What's this one called? It's where we go to get mail, where we can send a letter or pick up a package. Oh. Yes, Cam. Post office. A post office. Very good. You are rocking it. A post office. So you're going to put post office on number seven. We did amusement park for number six. Post office for number seven. P O S T space O F F I C E. And our last one. How it is. <laughs> You're really close, love bug. Train station. Yeah, train station. You knew what it was. So we're gonna put, where is it? Right here, train station on number eight. T-R-A-I-N space. S T A T I O N train station. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so now that we have all of our words on the bottom. For homework, unit seven, lesson one on page 25, which is where we are right now, the word search, okay? That is your homework, is the unit seven, lesson one word search, okay? So let's go on. I will remind you at the end of class that that is your homework. Okay, so this is a song called, Where Were You? Where Were You? All right. Unit seven, lessons one and two. Where were you? She wasn't out walking and she wasn't at the park. She said, I was at the... Did anyone get it? Okay, let's go back. Actually, we'll just keep going and then we'll come back to it, okay? Where were you yesterday? Where was he? 
he wasn't with his friends and he wasn't at home. He said, I was at the... Did anyone get it? Uh, Say it again, frame. No, that's okay. We can keep going and we can come back to it. Where were they yesterday? Were they at school? They weren't taking classes and they weren't at school. They said they were at the playground. Yes, the playground. Very good, awesome job. Let's listen again and try to get numbers one and two, okay? You can do it. Unit seven, <laughs> lessons one, and two, where were you? Our chat someone said the gym yes I she was at the gym beautiful where he was? Yes, I, the skating rink. Very good. All right, one more time all the way through. Unit seven, lessons one and two. Where were you? We're asking about where were people in the past? Where Yes, they were. Yes, 
did a great job. Okie dokie. So let's look at our grammar pass. Okay. So when we don't know where someone is, we have to ask them, where were you? Or where were they? We don't know the place that they were at. Where were you? Where were they? Yesterday. Yesterday tells us that it was in the past. In the past. Okay, it wasn't today and it wasn't tomorrow. It was yesterday. Okay. So when we ask, where were you yesterday? You could say, I was at the gym. I wasn't at the airport. Okay, was or wasn't is used for I. But let's look about, let's think about they. Where were they yesterday? We don't say was, we say were. Okay, so here's my little cheat sheet. I, he, and she was or wasn't. You, they, we, were or weren't. Okay, Tukun Putam Chan, repeat after me. I, he, she. I, he, I, he she. she. E. Was it, was or wasn't? Was or wasn't or wasn't. Yeah, was or wasn't. Was, was or wasn't. Was very good. You, they, we. You, they, we. Were or weren't. Were or was. Very good. Very good. So if we if we want to put the place in our question, then we don't need to have where. Because we have, in this question down here, were they at home? We don't need to say, where were they at home? Unless we want to know what specific area of the home they were in. We already have our place in our question, so we don't need to ask where. We can say, were they at home? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Okay? So you have that same... Grammar pass on page 26. Page 26, you have the same grammar pass. Okay. So what we're gonna do is I want you to underline the words that I underline in your grammar pass. See how I've underlined a couple of different words? I want you to do the same thing. We're going to underline where with two lines. Where were you? Where were you? And I where want you to underline you? I was. I wasn't, they were. I want you to underline, were they at home? Just were they? Yes, I want you to underline, they were. I want you to underline, they weren't. Okay, so here, let me show you what your paper should look like. Right here on the corner. Where were should be underlined. I was, I wasn't, they were. Were they, they were, they weren't. Are 
Okay. So when we are talking about which one, the past or the present, we use was, wasn't, were, and worse, weren't. Um, let's see, are we talking about right now or are we talking about in the past? In these sentences in the grammar past, are we talking about right now, today, or are we talking about in the past, maybe yesterday? What do you think? Are we talking about right now or in the past? Come on, friends, just give it a shot. It's okay to be wrong. It's not okay not to participate. นักเรียนคะนักเรียนดูแกรมมาพาสของทีเชอร์นะมันพูดถึงอะไรข้อที่หนึ่งเขาถาม what the sentence talk about พูดถึงอะไรเดอะ present หรือว่า the past the present ก็คือปัจจุบันก็คือ now ณตอนนี้นะคะถ้า the past ก็คืออดีตอ้าวห้าทับสองทุกคนปิดกล้องหมดเลยอ่ะแกมอยู่ดีก็ปิดกล้องหนีทีเชอร์เฉยเลยอ่ะสรุปเขาพูดถึง the present หรือว่า the past หนูดูข้างบนรูป where were you day yesterday คำว่า yesterday ถ้าเราแปลเป็นภาษาไทยมันแปลว่าอะไรข้อหอมข้อหอม 2 yesterday ถ้าแปลเป็นภาษาไทยมันแปลว่าอะไรลูก today yesterday tomorrow yesterday มันคืออะไร ใช่ถ้าพูดถึงเมื่อวานสมมุติว่าสมมุติว่านะสมมุติว่าแก้มกําลังพูดถึงเรื่องเมื่อวานให้เพื่อนฟังแสดงว่าแก้มเล่าเ
Monday, January 24, 2022, Unit 7, Lesson 2. This is our grammar pass, and we have four sentences. All right, you need to complete the sentence with either was or were. And I'm going to keep my little notepad right here so you guys can see it. Okay. แล้วเรียนหยิบสมุดขึ้นมานะคะแล้วเดี๋ยวเขียนวันที่ลงไปตามทีเชอร์เอมิลี่นะคะเขียนหัวข้อตามเลยวันนี้วันจันทร์เน
อันนี้ทําจริงเนาะแล้วก็เดี๋ยวเวลาสอบเนี่ยถ้าสอบแล้วคะแนนไม่ผ่านหรือว่าคะแนนเก็บมันได้ไม่ถึงเกณฑ์นะคะเราไม่มีคะแนนช่วยตรงนี้ให้นะคะเพราะว่าเราถือว่าเราขอให้คุณช่วยเราในขณะที่เราเรียนออนไลน์แล้วนะคะลูกแต่ว่าลูกไม่ให้ความร่วมมือกับคุณครูเนาะครูก็จะให้จะจะช่วยเฉพาะคนที่เขาที่เขาช่วยเหลือทีเชอร์นะคะที่เขาช่วยเหลือคุณครูนะคะอันนี้เราแฟร์แฟร์กันนะครูขาดเปิดก็ไม่ได้การะพี่เปิดไม่ได้ไหมคะได้ค่ะเปิดได้อ่ะถ้าเปิดได้แล้วทีเชอร์ถามหนูเปิดไม่ตอบนะคะลูกไม่ต้องกลัวผิดนะคะสามารถเปิดไม่ตอบได้เลยนะคะไอดีอยู่ไหมคะตอนชิสาคุณครูเทคชื่อแล้วเนาะเมื่อกี้เปิดไม่ไม่ได้เปิดกล้องไม่ได้แต่ว่าตอนอยู่ค่ะเทียเปิดกล้องให้คุณครูด้วยค่ะลูกถ้าหนูเปิดกล้องได้ Amazing! See now I have all my beautiful friends here. Let me see, I can get Bella points. Frame, frame. Her, don't open, open, open. 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 ห้องนี้ยังอีกหลายคนนะที่ที่ไม่เปิดกล้องที่ไม่เปิดไมค์ตอบที่ไม่มีส่วนร่วมเลยดังนั้นถ้าถึงเวลาสอบแล้วคะแนนมันไม่ได้ตามเกณฑ์หรือว่าคะแนนเก็บมันไม่ถึงเกณฑ์เนี่ยโอเคเราก็จะไม่มีคะแนนช่วยเหลือตรงนี้นะคะอันนี้ย้ำอีกรอบหนึ่งเราเข้าใจตรงกันนะฮะทักสองนะอ่ะทีนี้เราเล่นดูหน้าจอที่ทีเชอร์เอมิลี่นะคะขอบคุณค่ะทีเชอร์ทางฟ้า Yeah, welcome, ha. <laughs> All right. So let's see. What are we going to fill in these sentences with? Someone help me read number one. I blank at the bus stop. Hmm. Look at my notepad. Which one are we gonna use? We're only using the positive, so we're not gonna say wasn't, and we're not gonna say weren't. It's either I was or I were. What do you think? What do you see down here? Look down here. Ready? เรียนดูหน้าจอตรงโน้ตแพดที่ที่เช่าเขาโน้ตไว้ให้เห็นไหมการใช้ was wasn't การใช้ were แล้วก็อะไร weren't work to be ในรูปของอดีตเห็นไหมคะทุกคนเห็นไหมลูกเห็นค่ะเห็นค่ะมีใครไม่เข้าใจตรงไหนไหมใส่หัวมีใครไม่เข้าใจตรงไหนต้องบอกทีเชอร์นะจะได้อธิบายสาม Let's see. It's I. I. We use was. I was at the bus stop. Number two. They blank at the post office. Let's see. Here's they. Which one do we use for they? Was or were? Was. Very good. We use were. They were at the post office. What about this one? I blank at the airport. It's the same as number one. I one. Yes, I was at the airport. And the last one, you blank at the train station. Here's you. Do we use was or were? Was. Were very good. Those are what your sentences should look like. I was at the bus stop. They were at the post office. I was at the airport. You were at the train station. All righty. Okay, friends. That is it for the day. 
we will continue to learn about different places and going to those places in the past in our next class, okay? Thank you for putting your cameras on. And I hope next time we have our cameras on the whole time, okay? Thank you, thank you. I really want to thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Kapkun ka. Sawadika, I will see you. Bye bye, teacher. Bye bye. See you soon. See you Thursday. Bye. Bye.